It's your Army Bandstand. Your local Army recruiter, in cooperation with this radio station, brings you transcribed Army Bandstand, featuring a program of popular music, the music that young America prefers, and today featuring the Dizzy Gillespie Quintet. We'll be speaking with our guest, Dizzy Gillespie, after they open the show with the St. Louis Blues.
Music by Dizzy Gillespie in the quintet, and it's our pleasure today to be speaking with Dizzy. Welcome to the Army Show, Diz. Oh, thank you very much. Could you tell us a little bit uh, about how you got started in the music business, Diz, how you happened to come about with the trumpet and all? Well, there were always a whole lot of instruments around my house. My father was an amateur musician. Uh -huh. uh, and and, and I was, used to fool around with the piano you know, and, and different things when I was two or three years old. And then the, the school in my hometown, Chiraw, South Carolina, they got a band together. Mm -hmm. uh, the state bought them some instruments. And the only instrument left was, was the trombone. So I picked that up, and I was small. I was probably the smallest one around that wanted, wanted an instrument. So I picked up the trombone, and I played around with that for six, eight, nine months. And then the boy next door, a boy named uh, James Harrington, his father bought him a trumpet. And I asked him if I could practice on it. He said yes. So I switched the trumpet immediately because that trombone boy, it was <laughs> that's tough work. Well, right? well, yeah. And my arms weren't long enough to get down <laughs> to the eight, to the seventh position, so I couldn't get down. To <laughs> Diz, could you explain to the people about your unusual trumpet and uh, the shape of it and how uh, how it happened? Well, it's a about? 40, forty-five degree angle. I was at a party about four or five years ago. Uh, I gave a party for my wife at a club that I was working in, and in the interior, I had to go to a disc jockey show, and mm -hmm. I left my horn on one of those little stands. And the two comedians, you know, everybody was coming singing and different things. It was a birthday party, you know. And uh, these two comedians, Stumpy and Stumpy, they were up on the stage, and one pushed the other one, and he fell over the horn. When I got back, the bell was sticking up in the air. Right, straight up. Yeah, so I played it, and I... And, and, Right where the sound was coming from, so I had one made up like that. Have you you, you patented it and so forth? Design patent. Mm -hmm. It's I tried to get a, 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 a ordinary patent, you know, but it seems that as a, as a, as a Frenchman in 1850 50 something, and it is Dupont <laughs> has patented a, a trumpet with a bell. It, it wasn't exactly like mine because it was just a little raised bell, uh -huh. but it was enough to see that it was the same thing. Isn't that something? <laughs> Not only you get a design pattern. And we're going to have more music in just a moment, but first, let's hear this important message. Five, four, three, two, one, fire! Now you can train for the modern industrial age. Choose your technical training and prepare. In today's modern army, you can choose your own technical training and enroll before enlistment. Yes, you enroll for your technical training before enlistment at no obligation. You pick up-to-the-minute technical training in construction equipment operation, metalworking, guided missile, motion picture photography, and many more. This training is so advanced that much of it is still unavailable anywhere else. The Army gives you a head start in the field that interests you most. Your Army recruiter is the man to see. He can show you how to get your choice of technical training now at no obligation. You choose before enlistment. You get what you want or you don't enlist. For choice, not chance, see your Army recruiter now. Diz, let's get into our second tune. Would you care to introduce it and tell the people about it, please? Well, this is a ballad, uh, There Is No Greater Love. And I play all the way through this, and it's just one that features my horn and a mute. Going to swing a little bit? Yeah, I think it will. Let's do it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dizzy Gillespie's been our guest today, and Diz, it's been our pleasure to have you on the Army Show today, and we hope we can do it again sometime soon. I hope so. Okay. I'll be available. Good enough. We'll see you later, Diz. All right. Army Bandstand was produced at the Recruiting Publicity Center in New York City for your local Army recruiter. This program was produced by Chief Warrant Officer Charles Brown. The technical director is PFC Arnie Rosen. Now, this is Private First Class Jim Zimmerman reminding you that the Army lets you choose, qualify, and know all before enlistment. your army bandstand. Your local army recruiter in cooperation with this radio station brings you transcribed army bandstand featuring a program of popular music, the music that young America prefers and today featuring the sounds of the United States Army Band Orchestra as they play Betrayal at Bowie.
There you have it, the United States Army Band Orchestra and Betrayal at Bowie. And now PFC Steve Lawrence swings in with just a little bit of just one of those things. It was just one of those things. Just one of those crazy things One of those bells that now and then ring Just one of those things It was just one of those nights Just one of those fabulous flights A trip to the moon on gossamer wings Just one of those things if we thought a bit about the end of it when we started painting the town we'd have been aware that our love affair was too hot not to cool down so goodbye dear goodbye and amen here's hoping we'll meet now and then it was great fun but it was just one of those things It was just one of those nights Just one of those Fabulous flights A trip to the moon On gossamer wings Just one of those things If we thought of it About the end of it When we started Painting the town We'd have been aware That our love affair Was too darn hot Not to cool down So goodbye, goodbye Dear and amen Here's hoping we'll meet now and then It was great fun But it was just, just one of those things Want to learn electronics? Now, the Modern Army lets you choose your technical training before enlistment You get choice, not chance Because you pick the exact technical training you want and it's guaranteed before you enlist. You can choose up-to-the-minute training in electronics, guided missiles, radio and TV, automotive repair, photography, and many more. Best of all, you get the training you want or you don't enlist. See your Army recruiter now. He'll show you how you can choose your technical training. Or if you want foreign travel, your Army recruiter can help you choose your foreign assignment. Whatever you choose, your choice is guaranteed before enlistment. Get the choice of technical training you want, or get your choice of travel. Remember, you choose before you enlist. Get choice, not chance. See your Army recruiter now. Once again, here's the United States Army Band Orchestra as they play Just Friends.
Now the United States Army Band Orchestra closes the show today with Beaver Junction. Bandstand was produced at the Recruiting Publicity Center through the cooperation of the United States Army Band Orchestra, Major Hugh Curry directing. This show was produced by Chief Warrant Officer Charles Brown. The technical director is PFC Arnie Rosen. Now this is Private First Class Jim Zimmerman reminding you that the Army lets you choose, qualify, and know all before enlistment. Thank you.